In this video, I'm going to look at excess and limiting reagent, and then once we've established the limiting reagent, calculate the maximum mass of product that can be made. So we'll just explain what the two terms mean. So when you've got two substances that react together, it's impossible to have precisely the exact amount to react completely. One reagent will be in excess and one reagent will be limiting. So the limit reagent is the reagent that runs out first and that's going to limit how much product you can make. The excess reagent, there'll be some left over at the end of the reaction. So we'll move on to the worked example of how to identify the limiting reagent and then after this one I've got one for you to try. So we're going to use this reaction here, the reaction to make urea. So there it is there and let's suppose that we had 10 kilos of each reagent, each chemical used in the reaction. So we've got to work out which is the limiting reagent and which is the excess reagent and then we're going to use that information to work out the maximum mass of urea possible from the reaction. So the first thing obviously is to convert those masses to moles. So the moles of ammonia, 10,000 grams, that's 10 kilos, divided by its MR, 588 moles. Likewise for CO2, 10,000 divided by 44 is 227 moles. Now there's a few ways we can process the numbers now, but the way I'm going to show you is what I think the easiest way and the most useful way to answer the final part of the question to work out the maximum mass of urea possible. So we'll bring the mole ratio into play now. So those 588 moles of ammonia can make half as many moles of urea. The 227 moles of CO2 can make the same number of moles of urea. So you'll notice that the carbon dioxide is only able to make 227 moles. So that's the limiting reagent. So the limiting reagent has the potential to make the fewest moles of product. So therefore the maximum mass of urea possible is the moles times the MR, so 227 times 60. So in kilograms, three significant figures, it's 13.6 kilos. Okay, so here's example two. So consider the reaction to make IF5 by this equation. And let's suppose we had those quantities of reagents. So can you identify the limiting reagent and calculate the maximum mass of IF5 possible? So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so same as before, we're going to calculate the moles of each chemical first, mass over MR, so we get those moles there. And now we're going to work out the the potential moles we can make from the two molar quantities of SF4 and I2O5. So the ratio of SF4 to IF5 is 5 to 4. So if we multiply this by 4 over 5, we'll get the moles of IF5 possible. And that comes out at that. From the I2O5, that's a 2 to 4 ratio. So in other words, 1 to 2. So we just double the 0.0188 and we get that. So you can now see that the SF4 is making the fewest moles of IF5, so that's the limiting reagent. So now we know that's how many moles of IF5 we can make from the reaction. We multiply by its MR and we get 7.70 grams. 